hello everyone and welcome to the channel today in this video we are going to learn about creating opportunities stage duration report in salesforce so first let's move ahead and see what are this opportunity stage duration so in salesforce stage duration is a number of days or you can say staging period of opportunities between two stages in sales pipeline and specifically from the date when the opportunity changes from the previous stage to the current stage in the present day so basically we can say this stage duration is the time between the two stages of sales pipeline and the opportunities stage duration report is a custom report that is created with the data from opportunity history and this report shows the record of durations of the opportunity stages in a number of days and also we can view the average stage duration and the sum of all stage duration of opportunities in the report and with the help of the opportunity stage duration report it is easy to understand that how long a sales representative is taking to progress through sales stages so let's move ahead and see the process of creating a stage duration report in salesforce so in this video we are going to see the process of creating opportunity stage duration report in salesforce lightning as well as salesforce classic version so first let's move ahead and see the process of creating a stage duration report in salesforce lightning so now I have logged into my Salesforce account and right now I'm in the sales application and here you can see the reports tab. So here it is. And, and in the sales application, you can see this reports tab. And in case you are not able to find the report tab, you can go to this uh, app launcher and here you can search for the reports and under the heading items, you have to click on the reports. So this is the report setup of lightning. And from here we have to click on this new report button to create a report. And now in this step, we have to select the category and the report type for the opportunity stage duration report. So the category will come as opportunities. And since the stage duration is the part of opportunity history, so we will select the report type name as uh, opportunity history. And after this, we have to click on this start report button. And now in this window, you can see there are only few records on the report table. So now we will apply filters so that we can generate the records of stage duration and to apply the filters go to this filters tab and in the field show me select the all opportunities because by default it is my opportunities so we will change it to all opportunities and then click on this apply button and in the opportunity close date field i will select all time opportunities and you can select uh, the time range in which you have to create the records so i've selected all time and now click on this apply button so now we have applied the filters and you can see the number of records is increased on the report table and now we will need the specific column for the stage duration and for that go to this outline tab and in the columns search for the stage duration and select stay so now you can see this stage duration column in this report table so now in the column stage duration click on this drop down button and in the option summarize make sure that you have checked the option sum and average we have to select these both options and you can also remove the columns that you don't require for this report and for that you have to simply go to this column section and click on the cross of the column that you have to remove from this report so i will remove these columns that i don't need so now we have made the changes according to our requirements now our report is ready and to view the full records we have to save and run this report and for that click on this button save and run and now in this window we have to enter the relevant name for this opportunity stage duration report so i have named the report name as opportunities duration in sales and the report unique name will be autofilled as you click on it and it is optional to write the report description and in the folder section you have to select the folder where you have to store this report so click on the select folder and then here you can select the folder where you have to store this report so i will save this report in the public reports folder so that all users can view this report so i will save this report in the public reports folder so that all users can view this report and now click on the select folder and in the last click on the save button as you click on the save button the report will be saved and it will run in the next window where where you can see all the records of this report so at the top of the report you can see this average stage duration which is showing 10.36 this is the number of days which we are seeing in this field so this is how we create opportunity stage duration report in salesforce lightning so let's move ahead and see the same process of creating a opportunity stage duration report in salesforce classic so right now we are in the salesforce classic edition 
and this is the home page and on the home page click on this reports tab and in the reports and dashboard window click on this new report button and now we have to select the report type for the opportunity stage duration report and for that click on this opportunities folder and in the drop down click on this opportunity history and then click on this create button so now you can see there are only few records in the report table so we need to apply some filters to generate records and for that go to the filter section that is above this report table and in the show field click on this drop down and select all opportunities and in the range field i have selected the option all time and you can also select uh, other options like current financial year previous financial year according to your requirements and now you can see there is number of records in this report table so we are creating this report for the stage duration so we need to add a column for the stage duration and for that go to this quick find box on the left hand side and search for the stage duration and then select the stage duration from here and drag it to the report table so after adding the stage duration column click on the drop down arrow of this column and and then click on the option summarize this field and activate the checkbox sum and average and then click on the apply button so now we have created the opportunity stage duration report and to save and run this report click on the save button that is on the upper left hand side of the window and in this step we have to write the report name for this opportunity stage duration report so i have labeled the report name as a stage duration report of opportunities and the report unique name will be autofilled as we click on it and the report folder you can select the folder in which you have to store this report so i will select the unfiled public report so that all users can view this report and after this click on the button save and run report and now you can see all the records of this opportunity by stage duration report and at the bottom of the table you can see the average duration of the opportunities and it is showing average 10.36 so this 10.36 is the number of average days that opportunity take reaching from one stage to another stage so this is how we create opportunity stage duration report in salesforce classic and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next one till then goodbye